okay here. Yeah, so um, just your last name spelling and your first name. No worries. So my name's Chris Perrin, P E D L R I N, Station Officer, Fire Rescue New South Wales, Queen's Fire Station. So, approximately 2 o'clock this afternoon, we got uh, responded to numerous triple zero, triple zero calls to a house in this location. We arrived shortly uh, afterwards, and uh, the, uh, there was a fully involved house. Uh, you know, involving the garage and the rest of the house. Uh, we had firefighters uh, using lines of hose and breathing apparatus to attack the scene of the fire. The properties on either side of the premises were also threatened by, uh, by the fire. We set up protection lines to ensure that the fire didn't spread to the uh, neighbouring houses. Uh, there was no person's home at the time. The owner was uh, visiting a neighbour a couple of doors up and uh, his dogs come down and he went to put them back in and he discovered it. Uh, so yeah, it was pretty fortunate that there was no one home because it was a fairly uh, fast moving fire. It started in the garage and you know, garages often have flammable goods and plates and that sort of thing uh, in that area so it, was, uh, it's, it developed fairly quickly. It was a good job by firefighters to uh, limit the amount of damage and to protect the properties on either side. How many crews did you have here? So we had crews, four, four trucks here from Kingsliff, Tweed, Benora Point. Yeah. Uh, two from Tweed Heads. Okay. And, uh, and our hazmat uh, support van, it comes to uh, replenish our breathing apparatus and those things. And could you see the smoke from a distance away? We were at another call up at Palamba Heights, a couple of kilometres west of here, and uh, as we were coming down the hill, we could see the uh, large volumes of smoke and, uh, from the area, so we knew that it was uh, the call was a fair drink and house fire. And no one was injured during this incident? No, all the firefighters uh, made it out, no, no injuries, no, everyone was unhurt, no neighbours or the occupants. Everyone was safe and well. Yeah, um, and I guess the investigations are ongoing and 
Yeah, can't comment on the cause of, at this stage, but it's uh, you know, it's, it's it's not suspicious, not as suspicious. Yeah. Things. And any reminders you want to give the general public? Yeah, you know, there's uh, always make sure you have working smoke alarms in your house. Uh, always have an escape plan because uh, particularly if you've got children and fires can start and take hold very quickly. So make sure you have smoke, working smoke alarms, and uh, a, a, an escape plan. Cool. And. Um, did it take long for you guys to extinguish the fire upon it your arrival? It took us about 30 minutes, minutes to knock the main body of fire down and then about another half an hour, 45 minutes to uh, carry out salvage and overhaul and get complete extinguishment. Cool, thank you so much no for worries. your time. Thank you.